Hey, hi, this is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to set send as permissions on a shared mailbox or a user mailbox in Office 365. So let's see how we can set it. Uh, for shared mailbox, we have a different way to do it and for user mailbox, we'll have to do it in a different way. We can do it from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center as well as from the Exchange Admin Center. So uh, let's see how we can do it. So for that, we'll have to go to the Admin Center. You have to be a global admin or at least an Exchange Admin to be able to give uh, this permissions to someone. So uh, for shared mailboxes, if you want to send as a particular shared mailbox, you will have to go to admin.microsoft.com and expand the teams and groups section and click on shared mailboxes and search and locate uh, that particular shared mailbox from which you want to send emails uh, from. So for example, if I click on this shared mailbox, which is present here, uh, under members, I can add that particular person to which I want to see the content of the emails which is present in the shared mailbox and which will be incoming and outgoing. Also be able to send emails as this particular email address here. So if you add a person to the members list, it automatically gives them both the permission, read and manage and send as permissions. But if you only want to give them send as permissions, you can move here, manage mailbox permission and just simply click on send as permission. Click on add permissions. Look for the user on which you want to give the send as permission. So for example, uh, if I give uh, a, a user uh, send as permission on SM, then a, a user will be able to send out emails behaving that it came from uh, the mailbox which is sm simply click on add to add it and there you go it has been saved uh, the user should be automatically able to send out emails from the shared mailbox uh, you might also want to uh, select this option this uh, stores a copy of the email sent by any person who has the permissions of send as to be stored in the shared mailbox sent items as well. Otherwise, it will not be stored in the sent items of the shared mailbox. It will only be stored, uh, for example, on this case, the AA users sent items. So you will have to check this. And if you want, you can check the sent on behalf as well and hit save. That will store a copy on both the places, both the sent items. So this is for the shared mailbox. Uh, if you wish to do it for the user mailbox, user mailbox will not appear in this list. You can go into the users, active users page and then search for that user uh, on which you want to grant the permissions. So click on the user's name and then click on the mail tab here. And under mailbox permission, you will see all the three permissions which you saw for the shared mailbox sections as well. So we simply have to click on send as permissions and then add permissions search for the user click on add and that's it this will allow the user aa to be able to send out emails pretending to be coming from abc uh, you, this is something which you can test it as well if you want if you have an environment do it a test uh, to help understand it in a better way so we will test this out to see what is the default behavior when we send a email from a shared mailbox or a user mailbox on which we have sent as permissions so i will just click on new email and uh, by default we don't see the from option so it will go from my uh, default mailbox so for us to choose the shared mailbox as a from address i will have to click on from show from under options and then from the drop down i will have to either choose it or select other email address and then search and select it so i have it already here i will just select it and i will mention a, a recipient as well just in case and to a test 
So this is going out from the shared mailbox as you can see and I will hit send. This is just the label. You can ignore it if you don't see this. And uh, now the email has been sent. And this is the sent items of my primary account and not the shared mailbox. But if you check, you will see it here. So there you go, guys. This is how we can set send us permissions on a user mailbox or a shared mailbox in Office 365. Do let me know if you have any questions. You can drop it in the comment section and you guys have a nice day.